What's up Skinny Gainers? In today's video, I'm going to Vegas. And if you saw last week's video, I was in Vegas and this is the food tour from while I was down there. So, I'll see you guys when I get to Vegas. Here we go. All right, Skinny Gainers, so to start off the food tour of Las Vegas, we're gonna go to a classic on the strip, Shake Shack. He's never been and I've never been to the one in Vegas before. So, here we go. So, we're at Shake Shack and what I got is the double shack burger right here and the double down fries. So that's what I have. Now it's time to see what Sasquatch gets. All right, so I got myself a chocolate shake because I'm a big milkshake guy. And then I got a shack burger just because I didn't know what to get. I'm just gonna try because that's obviously the number one thing on their menu. All right, one bite review of the shack burger. It is really good, but I expected more crisp on the edge of the patty, so burger, six out of 10. Now it's time for the fries. Um, I personally don't like crinkle cut fries. I prefer, honestly, any other type of fry besides crinkle cut, but we're gonna go with a solid six out of 10. All right, one sip review first. That was pretty good. I will say it's definitely not the best shake I've had. I will give it probably a solid seven out of 10. All right, the Shack Burger. Dude, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. If I was expecting good quality food, this is what Shake Shack provides. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is really good. So Shake Shack on a scale of one to 10, Shake Shack on the strip. We're gonna go with a solid 7.5 overall. Highly recommend, check it out if you're in Vegas. Now it's time for the one I'm looking forward to tonight. We're going to catch in Aria. Fantastic meal plan for you guys, so stay tuned. All right, so we just arrived at Catch, and now it's time for the food review to begin. <laughs> Did you get it? One of my favorite things about Catch is like the environment, it's like, it, feel, it has like a fancy feel to it, but it also is very like casual. So it feels like it's a place that you could like, you feel comfortable being here and eating food. I just love it. One of my, it is my favorite place in Vegas to go, which is why it's the first place we're going on the food tour. So I hope you're ready. Buckle up because we're gonna eat a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, food. All right, so first course is the truffle sashimi right here. Their appetizer for today. And uh, we'll do a one bite review as always. One bite review, here we go. Amazing. One of my favorite dishes I catch right here is the truffle sashimi. Sasquatch's first bite of some, oh my gosh, it's the fourth. You said I'm not allowed to. One bite review. Dude, this is like changing. That's the freshest fish I've ever felt in my mouth in my life. All right, so next what we have is the grilled Spanish octopus right here. And we're gonna do a quick one bite review. Get a little bit of the potatoes in here, the octopus. Get it all mixed up in there. Here we go. It's amazing. There's so many flavors in it and the powerful flavors really mix well with the subtle flavors. And it just makes this amazing dish. I cannot wait to see Sasquatch try it. All right, this is a potato and shrimp thing, right? It's a uh, grilled Spanish octopus. I'm scared to try this, but I'm going to do it for you, Skeeny Gainers. You treat me so well, man. This is so good. The flavors are so amazing. 10 out of 10. So good. So we got three of the greatest rolls I'm convinced that catch right here. First, we're gonna do the catch roll right here, their signature roll. This is one of my favorite rolls because it has like this great flavor to it and then right at the end, it hits you with a kick of heat and it's amazing. 10 out of 10. The surf and turf roll right here. What I like about it is you get the best of both worlds, right? You get food from the land and the sea, and you can taste it in the roll. It's amazing, 10 out of 10. And lastly, 
We have the MRC roll. This one is unique, I think. Oh, voice crack. It has a sweetness to it that the other ones don't have. It has this weird sweetness to it, and it makes it really stand out as far as the rolls go. Gotta love it. 10 out of 10 again. Now it's time to see what Sasquatch thinks. Surf and turf. We're gonna try it. Dude, this is so good, man. I can't even explain it. We're gonna try this next one. What is this one? The That's the catch roll. Okay. This is really good. It just has a lot of heat to it. I'll give it, both of the last two were like nine out of 10 just because I personally just don't like heat. But it was really good. MRC, which man stands for might have coma after this or something. I don't know. <laughs> I did not add up. All right. I've been waiting for this type of sushi roll forever. Tens. Ten across the board here. No question. The chef recommend like a 7 to 8 second both sides for medium red. And dip with the teriyaki, enjoy with the vegetable, mushroom, green onion. Oh. <laughs> this, yeah, the rock is hot fast. This looks good. The medium red is better. The salt. And Dude. a little bit vegetable, okay? Yeah, that's fine. A little bit fancy, huh? Enjoy. <laughs> All right. This is Sasquatch's first time trying Wagyu beef. Wagyu. This is Japanese A5 Wagyu, by the way. It's the highest class of beef you can get. Oh, I, I'm very scared right now. Let's try it. Keep intense music. This is so good. This is so good. I, I just don't know what's in my mouth right now. That's how good it is. Japanese A5 Wagyu on the hot stone. Here we go. It's unreal how good it is. Like, it's not even real how good that is. It is so good. There's still a lot of dishes left to try tonight, but that's amazing. All right, what we have next is the uni pasta. And what this is, it's uni pasta with caviar, white wine reduction, and a few other components. And let's just dig into it and do a one bite review. Here we go. All right, one bite review, here we go. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Wow. <laughs> There's so many flavors that, and you can taste them all individually, and it's just, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. One bite review. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So this one gets a little rum ganache over the top, and then with the side of your spoon, just as the plate says, you get a nice karate chop straight down, okay? Gotta crack it hard. Oh, okay. I'm hitting it. This definitely has all the ingredients. Dude, this is so good. 10 out of 10. Actually, 11 out of 10. That's how good it is. Hit me cake, one bite review. Here we go. Literally, like, it's so good. The richest chocolate I've ever had in a cake in my life. Amazing. Ten out of ten. All right, so what we have is the sticky coconut cake. So there's a bunch of different things on here that we're gonna mix together to make this. So let me do this real quick. You can watch the time lapse. All right here we go. One bite review. It's so hard to describe what it actually tastes like though. I mean, obviously there's coconut in it, but there's something really sweet in it. I just, 10 out of 10. I, that's all I got to say. Personally, not my favorite. Still pretty good. 
I'll give it a 9.2 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, Sasquatch sort of, is sort of biased against this one because he does he hates coconut. Like, he hates coconut. I know this very much so, but I mean, if he gives it a 9.2, then they must be doing something right. All right, so catch in Aria in Las Vegas. 10 out of 10. Obviously, it's my favorite restaurant to go to when I'm in Vegas because if you watch the other videos, this is where I go. But um, the, the camera's crooked. <laughs> this was amazing experience. So like I said before, if you're in Vegas and you can get a reservation, go to Catch because you will not regret it. All right, Skinny Gainers, day two. And we are on our way to Area 15, which is probably one of the coolest places in Vegas. We're on the GoPro right now because we're not allowed to bring the big camera into here because they have this rule, which sort of sucks, but it is what it is. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we are at lunchtime and we're at Area 15. So we had to stop at the food trucks outside of Area 15. We got some pork belly bao and then the uh, Hawaiian chicken right here. So let's do a quick one bite review and then we're gonna get into it. I had something like this when I was at Momofoku last time I was here. <laughs> this is amazing. The bao, very good. And then we have the Hawaiian chicken right here. We're gonna dip it in the sauce because I think that's what you're supposed to do right here. Very good. It's a very juicy chicken, it has a good flavor to it, and the sauce is really, I think it's homemade. I don't know, I haven't asked, but um, very good. If you're in Area 15 area, make sure you go to the food trucks, support their local businesses got go, they got going on here, so make sure you support them and uh, come check out the food trucks. Are they still recording? I don't know how to shut it off, so I just... <laughs> yep. All right, Skatey Gators, we just pulled up at the Venetian for dinner. We're going to Lavo, I believe it's called and we're gonna be eating, doing a food review. So, let's go do it. All right, so we just pulled up at Lavo and it is time to go see what it's all about. I have never been here before, so gonna get a full first time honest review. Oh, wait, what was this called? Lemon? Rosemary citrus. Rosemary citrus. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we got is a non-alcoholic, um, cocktail and it is the rosemary citrus spritz one sip review here we go it's pretty solid they're they're flashing around these bottles and I'm 90% I'm sure based on our table neighbors that there nobody's drinking the wine no, it's nobody's it's going to nobody they're just doing this to get an arm workout but um I'll give this a solid like a seven I mean it doesn't taste super crazy it sort of just tastes like a it sort of just tastes like a lemon juice but uh yeah I'm gonna give it a, a seven out of ten so first what we have is the garlic bread which is I've been told a staple of Lavo and then there's three different dipping sauces you have the pesto we have garlic and marinara so let's do a one bite review we're gonna go with the garlic by the way That's really good. Actually, that's amazing. It's very buttery and very like juicy, which sounds weird for bread, but it, it works because the bread's very crispy on top of it. Tastes amazing. It's gonna get a solid nine for me. Next, we have the tuna tartare. One bite review. It looks simple, but there's lots of flavor going on. You got the avocado, the tuna, the toppings. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something sweet going on in there and, and the crispiness from the bread. Gonna get a win for me. Solid nine. All right, uh, Scandy Gainers. This is my first time with a mic. This is awesome. So, this is what the waiter... You're gonna be screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is 100%, but the waiter ordered it, or suggested it. Uh, I don't know, some bread thing, honey with, <laughs> I don't know, gravy and then, oh, ca caviar, right? This is caviar-ish, right? There's some meat, meat and cheese on top. What's this called? Prosciutto. All right, prosciutto. All right, this looks like bologna, but. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is actually really good. I'll have to say this is like 9 out of 10 stuff here. We have Penny Ala Vodka. I've actually never had this before, so this is why I actually wanted to try this. I've never had vodka sauce before, so we have this one bite review. Here we go. It's interesting. I've never had something like this before. It has like a kick at the end, and it has like a solid flavor throughout it of the sauce, but then there's a kick at the end of it. There's a little bit of heat, so I like that. So you like, you get different layers of it as you're eating it. So, I mean, it tastes good. I'm gonna give it a solid 8.5, 8.5. That's what it gets. All right, so what I got here is spaghetti and meatballs. I do know this. This doesn't look like typical meatballs. That's all I gotta say. This looks like crunched up stuff. I don't know what's on top, so we're gonna get rid of that. We gotta mix it up. Oh, all right. We're gonna mix it up and get some meatballs and the noodles, all right. All right, one bite review here. <laughs> Dude, put the noodle in your mouth. Run for him! Hey, can we take some? We got neighbors. What happened to the cheese? What happened to the cheese ball? Oh, that's what it is. I I didn't. I didn't know what it was. So I just kind of like scooted it off. <laughs> this was pretty good. This is probably better than my mom's spaghetti and meatballs, <laughs> in my opinion. So mom, if you're watching this, sorry. But I'll have to give it like a 9.3 out of 10. It's called? Cool. Like, our, our guests here are literally crying because of you. I want to point sorry. that out. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? All right, one, one bite or one sip review of the, uh, yeah, don't, don't bite it. <laughs> of the uh, cranberry, cranberry, cranberry spritzer, I believe it's called, so here we go. Well, I would say that is better than the other one that I had. Um, it has more flavor to it. It doesn't just taste like syrup. The other one sort of just tasted syrupy, uh, but it was good though, because there's other flavors in it, but this one tastes less syrupy. It tastes, has more actual rich flavor to it, so I'm gonna give it a 6.5, 6.5. I'm adding the 0.5 purely because we were getting dogged for adding decimals to our... <laughs> All right, so we got the dessert, finally. <laughs> uh, it is a 20-layer chocolate peanut butter cake. If you could take a look at that, that looks very... Well, I've never seen something like that before. It's gonna be something tough to bite into, so... All 20 layers right there and try and get it all in one scoop. I'm gonna have to put this down for a second. Oh no, I lost a layer. Okay, now it's only 19 layers of cake, so. Now we have the new and improved 19 layer cake. Here we go. Immediately, you get hit with a, like a loud power of cocoa, the chocolate in there, and then the peanut butter comes out of left field and just punches you in the face. It is amazing this is wow i would come back just for this so in conclusion nine out of ten for lavo at the venetian uh, well technically it's not the venetian it's like next to it but anyways um nine out of ten highly recommend so if you're in vegas this is just one of those things go check it out fantastic place to be great food great environment the music's fantastic it's popping so Go check it out. And for the end of the night, we're gonna end at in and out which is a staple of West Coast. We're sort of West Coast, Vegas. So if you're, this is sort of off the strip. It's on the strip. You take this little side alley. They got a bunch of this cool stuff around here. And in and out of course. So we're gonna do that. I got the double-double animal style, as you should if you get in and out Always get your burger animal style. So quick, here's a quick look at the burger right here. Looks amazing. Take that one bite review right here. Eat the burger upside down as you should. It's in and out, can't go wrong. Eight out of 10, fantastic for a burger. So gotta love it. All right, so we are leaving Vegas now. Our trip here is concluded. So I will see you guys when we get back to Ohio. Let's hope there's no complications in the trip. Well, turns out there is a delay. Not just any delay, a three hour delay. So we will not be getting back to Ohio until around one in the morning. So now I have like two hours to burn to do who knows what. So I'm gonna explore, see if I can find some good food. I'll let you guys know if I find anything fancy. I think we have a winner here. What do we have here? We have a dark chocolate peanut butter stick and a mint truffle chocolate ball. I don't know what it is. 
guess I'll do a quick one bite review for y'all. Bro. Bro. This stuff is amazing. Bro, dude. That's fire. What? Alright. Well, obviously, that's a 10 out of 10. So we're gonna go with the peanut butter stick now. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Bro, it tastes like a buckeye on steroids. Oh yeah. Tens across the board. Wow. I feel like you don't even watch the camera when you record. You just like hold it there and then it slowly like drifts off of me and I'm oh. like. <laughs> Dude. I all right, Skinny Gators, day two, and it's very sunny and very hot out, so I might turn this way because the sun was right in my eyes. All right, Skinny Gators, day two. So, if you made it to this point of the video, that means you... So, if you made it... So, if you're...